Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomats YouTube channel, guys. You got Bert and Lanny, the DD. Yes, we got this Vanguard side. hats. Invest like a boss. Bert showcasing it because today we're talking about the thing that I've been doing for almost three freaking years, guys. We're going to dive into Vanguard's BYM, the journey from this is ground zero to where we're at here as of April 7, 2023, and kind of what does it look like for the next, you know, seven and a half months? Can't wait to dive into the figures and how it's going. You guys are going to want to see what's going on with Lanny's VYM position because it is absolutely wild. But Lanny, what's that? Ding, 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 ding. Do you hear a bell? Do we have a giveaway? It's been a while since we've done one of these, everybody. If you get this video to 400 likes, you subscribe to this channel and you leave a mother bleeping comment down there below, you're going to enter the raffle for a Dividend Diplomats coffee mug, everybody. So get ready, get hyped, make sure you join the contest. We'll pick a winner by next Sunday's video to be announced. Guys, like the video right now. Let's get into this, guys. We're talking again, Vanguard's high dividend yield ETF. Ticker symbol is VYM. And my wife and I have been buying VYM every single Monday since the summer of 2020. So we're almost at the three-year mark of buying Vanguard's ETF literally every single week. We typically have ranged from buying one upwards to three shares a week. Currently, over the last few months, we've been doing about two shares in my wife's account of VYM, and we've been doing 300. I have it set automatically in my SoFi investing account. So sometimes it's two and a half to three shares, um, just depending on the stock price that I've been picking up. So we'll say in total, four and a half to five and a half shares per week we've been able to scoop up over the last few months. And this position is just really swelled up when you combine both my wife and my account together in the taxable, ready to use brokerage account. I would say this is definitely swollen up. That is not going to be a lie. And I mean, there are some benefits here of the consistent investing. And I think that's kind of been the big thing that came out of this. This was the first time, if you correct me if I'm wrong, you've just committed to one stock or one ETF consistently investing. We've always been buying individual stocks. We've always been consistently investing in different stocks within the portfolio, but this was the first time it was a much more precision strike. It's, I'm going to pick a Vanguard ETF. I'm going to invest in it. And I'm just going to keep on investing it and watching that position grow into a mammoth stock. Yeah. I mean, so much, guys, that we'll show up a couple of charts here throughout the video. So as of April 7th, just talking about Mammoth. Mammoth for us, but maybe not Mammoth for you guys. It could be huge for some people, though, too. You know, the market value finally clips the threshold this past week. Hence why the video. <laughs> Bert's clapping. I went early with the applause. I thought you were going into it. Guys, so yeah, the market value of our position in our taxable account for just BYM is now $100,988.08. We crossed the $100,000 threshold. I own 524 shares and my wife owns 429 shares. And you know we own some partial on top of that, but you know together over 953 shares of BYM. I mean, just kudos to you too. Kudos to you for executing this consistent strategy. As you said, you started it in 2020. This wasn't overnight. It's kind of much like the journey of what we've talked about to financial freedom. We're not, it's not an instant gratification here. You didn't just drop in a hundred thousand into VOM. You took your time, you were patient, you stuck to the strategy, which is the Save most money, important part of this. Yep. It, yeah. Threw <laughs> some extra in and it's fantastic. I mean, the fact that you two have grown this to $100,000 combined is a testament in itself. So why don't we talk a little bit, Lanny, about the dividend income here too. So you obviously have a $100,000 position in VYM. Um, the, yield is, the yield is pretty solid here for VYM based on some of their holdings. It's what over a little over 3%. So why don't you speak towards the annual income this is going to produce and how yeah, much it might be on a monthly basis on average? Yeah, you know, and again, it's not it's not a high as high of a dividend yield as SCHD, the big Schwab uh, dividend 
um, yielding dividend growing ETF. Um, the dividend growth rate's not even as high as the CHDs. But VYM kind of reminds me of a little bit of Johnson & Johnson stock, which we just featured on a previous video. Pretty darn consistent, pretty darn reliable when it comes to both yield and dividend growth. They usually in the 2.85 to three and a quarter yield, sometimes, you know, usually in that range. <clears throat> Currently, they're 3.12% yield. And that dividend growth rate's usually between that six to eight, six to nine percent dividend growth rate in total over each year. So I do like that. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's consistent. Um, it's great. I mean, each fund's going to be different and that's what's unique about it. And when you look at their top 10 holdings, you can kind of see why it's not the highest of the dividend growth rate, but you can see why it's solid because it has what Exxon, JP Morgan, Johnson & Johnson, the company you referenced, Procter, Chevron, Home Depot, AbbVie, Merck, Eli Lilly, Bank of America. Not too many of those have banger dividend increases in their income basis, but all of those are fantastic legacy, huge blue chip stocks that announce solid dividend growth every year. Yeah. And each and one of the top five is less than 4%, and only two are over or at 3% of the entire ETF. So concentration is a lot lower because there's hundreds of stocks in the ETF. Very but you went back, Yeah. And you, you wanted to know the dividend income. So given that it's over 100,000 in value, it yields over 3%, uh, doing the quick math, the, this position right now produces $3,153 in annual mm -hmm. dividend income as of right now. That's, that's amazing. That is simply amazing. So when you take that on an average by month, 3,153, you divide that by 12, that's about on average $262.75 of dividend income on average from one, from one of your positions. Yeah. And again, it takes guys, this is again, over a three year time period. So yeah, I didn't just, hey, let me just write a check. Let me just deposit a hundred K boom, BYM, buy. No, this is years of saving and investing consistently um, and just not stopping uh, side hustling, eBay sales, Macari sales, Facebook, all the extra income I could, I keep that going to make sure I can keep satisfying this strategy. Yeah. So I think here's a good question. I'm sure I have, and a lot of the other viewers have as well, Andy, is the show over for BYM or is the show going to keep on going now that you've hit a hundred thousand? Well, just like WWE has been saying, the show goes on now <laughs> together forever or whatever their yeah. slogan is right now. Uh, but no, the show goes Their on. Slo the slogan is Vince just got paid is what the slogan <laughs> That is true. He, yeah. he got paid. He, you know, he found the best deal for the shareholders and he got compensated seven plus figures for it. Yeah. Um, All right. And so anyway. some because of the equity that he also owns up to <laughs> WWE stock. Um, but anyway, yeah. So are you going to keep going with VOIM purchases? We're going to keep going. You know, we're going to keep going, especially through the year of 2023. There's a you know, there's about 38 weeks left as well in 2023. So, you know, I kind of, I'll put this together too for yeah. us. But if we keep buying two shares in my wife's account and I keep doing about $300 a week at current prices, you know, we should add 108 shares for the remainder of the year to that total. And given that, um, there's dividend income of 31.53. If you divide that by four, which is quarterly, and times that by three remaining quarter ends of the year, and then take those dividends over the current price of 105.92, that'll also add more shares, um, you know, in total. So yeah, we're going to keep going. You know, 38 more weeks into 2023. It's going to take still a lot more capital to do this, but we're going to keep going. And we'll finally eclipse, um, you know, the thousand share in total mark because we're at 953. Yeah. And we should be well over 1,100 shares by the end of the year. That's magnificent. So if you take those 1,100 shares, you're projected about, it should give you a value of the position of about, what, $122,000 forecasted with it, with at the prices. That income would grow. Even more. So you're at 3153 today. Lanny, where would that put you from the annual income from VYM after at the end of the year projected? Yeah. So that would add over 750 plus dollars in forward income, going from 953 shares to 1,159 oh. shares. Man, 
Good thing I yeah. swallowed my water right before I said that, because that would have just come right into the camera there. That's insane. When you, yeah, and when you take that per month, again, at the moment, $262 per month is where you sit today. Per month, if you keep going at the end of the year and you hit the projections, you're at $319 per month. So that's a huge milestone you're going to cross on your own right there of getting over $300 from VYM on average. Pretty big milestone, you know, I think crossing a $300 a month or $3,600 a year, we'll have $3,800 a year. <clears throat> and then I think the next big milestone after that will, will be like that $6,000 in forward income or the $500 a month, you know, really set the bar high there. We have ways to go for that. But right, through $400 a month, we're just going right for $500. So yeah, that. yeah, no, we're, <laughs> skip, we're skipping the four. We're skipping the four. Let's get to $6,000 a year. I like it. I like you know, it. $6,000 a year, you know, that's going to take some time. We more than likely won't. I can't see that being it unless there's some crazy dividend growth and we somehow fall into some crazy money. And maybe we, uh, you know, find some in our backyard that's buried from the yeah. previous owners. Yeah, I mean, you are Italian. It could you have, you could have some money and some buried, buried bodies buried back there. But in all serious, I mean, again, remember, it took you three years to get to this mark. Now you have some dividend reinvestment momentum going. You have some dividend income momentum. So not to say... Um, it can't be possible to get there faster than you're expecting, but it's very much on the table that you could hit the hit the 500 per month mark faster because of the momentum you have and the amount and the drive that you have to get there. Yeah, and you know, I'm not saying that we won't we'll be so far away, but hey, dividend reinvestment's powerful. Dividend growth is powerful. Yeah. So yeah. who knows what's to come over the next at that point, 18, you know, to. Exactly you know, 21 right. months, you know, kind of what does the dividend look like? Yeah. You know, we'll see. Yeah. So, all right, everyone here to summarize, Lenny's wife just crushed it. They just finally got to $100,000 in market value for VYM. They're going to keep going. They're going to take that $3,153. They're going to supersize it. They're going to keep going investing in VYM. They're projecting almost $320 per month by the end of the year. When uh, you consider in new purchases, reinvestments for a dividend, that is freaking huge. So kudos to you first and foremost, Lanny. It's awesome that you guys. Yeah. I know I'm not the only ones out there. And, you know, Brent, I know you did your J&J, got to 100 shares each strategy. Now you're on the SCHD strategy. So I can't wait to see in, you know, 12, 18, mm -hmm. 24 months what that will look like for you. Yeah. Because here is kind of what it looks like for me. Yeah, I'm sorry, everyone. Let us know what you think about this. Would you keep going if you were Lanny? Do you have a regular investing strategy like he and his wife do, whether it's VYM, SCHD, whether it's $1, $100, $1,000, doesn't matter. Just tell us what you're doing to grow your passive income every single week. Guys, remember, we're trying to get the 400 likes. Let's get you a nice coffee mug with the BD representation. For those that do have a coffee mug, you know that we also do like to customize it up every once in a while, maybe surprise you a little bit. Um, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, guys. Man, Burr, what else is there? That's really it. I think we're in a good spot. If there's only one other thing hmm, that we should be saying, something about not being with us, if you're going to be against us, everybody. Oh, man, guys, yeah. that's Burr, Zahar, and Lanny from the DD over and out.